The sign painting is not easy. A lot of disappointment. But that's, that's true with anything that you try to accomplish, you know. And, uh, it's routine for me. After 50 years, I should say so. Earl Phillips, originally from Arkansas. I was born in 34. My father left Arkansas by the light of a 45. That's how we got to Cleveland. I went to uh, Cleveland schools. I always liked uh, commercial art. I got that started in East Tech. Stumbled out of East Tech at 19. Came back from the military and went to school. I went to Cooper School of Art to 59 plus. And uh, in 1960, I bought this building. Practice and everything else is history, I guess, you know. In 1960, I was the first brother to move in the neighborhood with a business. <laughs> Are you listening? I didn't make no waves, and uh, the customers came, you know. As a sign painter, you gotta be a Jack Lake carpenter. All of this you put together, but 99 of these that you see in the city out of 100, I do. With this stick here, there are some sign painters can't work with it. I can't work without it. I call it a pogo stick. These, uh, these are the original sticks I got. Original. Look at them. <laughs> Since 1960, man, that pole on the wall was installed in 1960. <laughs> Still here. What you see here is what I do. There are people coming here. I wanted peach tree green. I wanted cocoa brown. You got it? No, I'm sorry. I just have three or four colors. But see, uh, most of the customers don't know what works good together. You're looking for contrast, okay? And uh, I say leave it up to the sign painter. But still, when they insist, you know, you, you bow gracefully and give them what they want. I found out over the years, politicians and, 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 and ministers, they expect you to do that work for nothing. So, hey, I was glad to say no, no more, you know. But they still approach me from time to time, you know, because it ain't no sign painter. Be dependable, be good at your trade, and be reasonable in your prices. You got it? With that combination, you can't go wrong, man. I'm gonna tell you. And see, I try to give a, a customer a little bit more than what they pay for. That's good for business. Years ago, I couldn't do that. Couldn't afford it. I say, if you take care of business, it'll take care of you, my friend. If you do second class work, have uh, uh, exorbitant prices, you're not gonna last, you know? I could double my prices and, and, and my customers would still come. They don't have any choice. People are saying, what if you retire? What if you die? What are we gonna do? I get that consistently with the female uh, beauty shop, you know, customers. You know, I'm one of the few old timers that's still around. You know, most of them died out or something else. Fortunately, I'm a workaholic, you know, and uh, I, that's where I'm happy at uh, working here at the shop, you know. All I do is in seven days is here working most of the time, you know. Enjoy that. S is the most difficult to master. If you can master the S, you can make any other. Like with the human body, 
the hand is the most difficult thing to master. And they told us at commercial art school, if you draw a thousand hands, then you become an artist. Ha! I didn't get nowhere close. <laughs>